and around her head. You'll see where she's not wearing it, it's around her hip. Okay? So the dowries were worn on the body, they were worn as necklaces, they were worn as head pieces, they were worn as earrings. And you can see that they're actually turning it into these two are actually women. Bend it forward. There we are. Okay, and try the other side as well. Okay. Keeping the feet parallel, keeping your pelvis as well. <laughs> Now the Awalam were made mainly singers and poets. They danced a little bit, but they went in and they, they performed for the women. Okay, so they went into the, into the women's quarters, they would recite poetry, they would sing, and they would dance a little bit. And the Gawazi were the women who were actually out in the street. So they were dancing for weddings, they were dancing for rulers, they were actually out there, they were unveiled in public, so they were a bit... and exotic dance were circulating for a long time. Um, now in the 70s, the participants that I spoke to who went back that far told me, there wasn't a great deal for New Zealand women to do poly-wise. There was actually quite a lot of dance, um, but it was professional dance. <laughs> and then they went back into the family. 